Step 4. Printing layouts, exporting PDF documents, and archiving projects. In this step, we become familiar with printing or plotting the construction documentation. We will demonstrate how to publish the construction documentation set with just a click of the mouse in any file format you wish. At the end of this step, we will also present some alternatives for archiving a project. The architectural design team has finished development of the construction documentation of the project and now they would like to publish their work. Switch to the col10.pln file. With the organizer palette still open, click the Project Chooser button and select Microsoft Hungary Office Building, Active, at the top. Keep the layout book in the left pane of the organizer and switch to the publisher sets in its right pane. Click the Publisher Set Chooser and Manager button and select Publisher Sets from the appearing pop-up list. You can see the list of available publisher sets in the project. Let's create a new publisher set for plotting the layout book. Click the New Publisher Set button, the third button at the lower part of the palette. Enter 05 CD plot set for the name in the appearing dialog. Finally, click the Create button to proceed. The new set has been created and also selected. Click the Publishing Properties button and select the plot from the drop down list in the Publishing Method field and then click OK. Double click on the newly created set to open it. The set has opened on the right panel. Select the Construction Documentation folder in the left panel. If you didn't create the Construction Documentation folder in the first step of this chapter, use the preset Col 10 Construction Documentation Layout folder and click the Add Shortcut button below the Layout tree. The content of the Construction Documentation Layout book has been added to the Publisher set. The created shortcut refers to the selected folder on the left panel. Let's now return to the Project Navigator and close the Organizer palette. Select and activate the newly created 05 CD plot set in the Publisher tab and select the first four folders from A1 to A4 below the Construction Documentation folder. Let's set up a plotter for the selected layouts. Click the Plot Setup button in the Format panel. The Plot Setup dialog opens. Here you can select and match your plotter with the corresponding layouts in the selected folders. You can set and customize the different subfolders according to the paper size of the layouts. Choose your plotter manufacturer and type, or just select the template type if you don't have an available plotter. Select the roll from the first drop-down list, and choose the roll 36 from the second drop-down list on the paper field. Choose the extended for margins, and enter 6 feet 4 inches for X. X refers to the length of the plotted paper roll. If you have installed plotter on your computer, Click the Setup button in the Connection field and select it from the drop-down list. At this time, you can skip this because we're not going to plot. Just save the plot files from the layouts. Please note that you can publish your documentation set using PLT plot files. This is useful if you don't have a plotter connected to your computer. You can put these PLT files on a pen drive and plot them elsewhere, for example in a copy store. It's important to set the plotter type and model carefully so the published PLT file will match the specifications of the plotter used in the store. Click the Select button in the Spool Folder field and browse a destination folder for the plot files on your computer.
Click OK to leave the Plot Setup dialog. Let's match the settings of the selected layouts with the plotter and set the settings of the layouts before plotting. Click the Plot Settings button. The Plot Layout dialog opens. Notice the Plot Setup is also available from the top right corner of this dialog. By clicking this button, you can easily enter the plotter setup, fine-tune the paper size, and then return back to this dialog. Select the Spool Folder Radio button in the Destination field. If you select the plotter here, you can send your layouts directly to the plotter. Make sure the Custom Radio button is selected in the Resize field and the value of the percentage is 100. You can easily resize your layouts in this field. For example, if you want a half-size layout set, enter 50% for the Custom Resize value. Choose black and white from the drop-down list in the Plot With field. Notice a schematic preview window shows the relation between the selected layouts and the defined paper size in the Arrangement field. Click the Save button to execute the settings and leave the dialog. We have set all the properties for the floor plan, section, and elevation layouts, but we will plot the sections and elevations to a thinner paper roll. Select only the A3 Sections and A4 Elevations folders now, and click the Plot Setup button again. Select Roll 24, and enter 6 feet 4 inches for X size, and then click OK. We've finished the layout and plotter settings. You can now select the layouts that you would like to publish, and save the PLT extension plot files with one click. Expand the A1 Stories folder. Select a couple of layouts below the Stories and select the whole section folder. Choose the selected items at the bottom of the Organizer dialog and click the Publish button. You can follow the publishing status in the appearing dialog. Click the Close button when all the layouts have been published. Let's see the result of the publishing. ARCHICAD can also import PLT files and place these on layouts similarly to other external image files such as JPEG or TIFF images. We will insert one of the PLT files back into the layout sheet. Expand the A3 Sections folder and double-click the A301S01 section left wing first layout. The selected layout opens in the Layout window. Switch to Windows Explorer or to Macintosh Finder and browse for the folder where you previously published the plot files. Select the A301 layout and drag and drop it back to the Layout window below its original layout. The PLT file has been placed on the Layout window as an external drawing. Let's compare it with its original layout. As you can see, the PLT file is the same as the original one. The only difference is, it is turned to black and white as defined in the plotting settings. Let's undo this step, or simply delete the inserted PLT file. Adobe's Portable Document Format, or PDF format, is used worldwide for exchanging design documentation. We'll show you how to save the entire layout book as a single multi-page PDF document. Switch to the Publisher Sets panel of the Navigator. Open the Publisher Set Chooser and Managers list and select the previously created 05 CD plot set. Click the Duplicate button to duplicate this Publisher Set. Rename the new set and enter 06 CD PDF set for the name in the Publishing Properties panel. Click the Publishing Properties button. The Publisher Set Properties dialog opens. Choose the Save Files for Publishing method. Define the Destination folder by clicking the Browse button.
and click OK. Open this set by double-clicking on it. The selected publisher set opens. Click to select the construction documentation folder. Switch to the format panel and select PDF from the drop-down list and check mark the Merge to One PDF File checkbox. This checkbox enables the published layout sheets to be merged into one single PDF file with multiple pages. You can also select the subfolders separately and publish them as single PDF documents. Click the Document Option button. Here you can set some basic settings of the PDF file. Let's select the black and white option from the drop-down list. Click the PDF Options button in the bottom left corner of the dialog. You can define a password here to open your document and change the default resolution if necessary. Click OK to accept the settings and proceed. Select the this set option from the publish drop-down list on the bottom of the navigator palette and click publish to save the set in PDF format. ARCHICAD starts the publishing process and updates all the drawings before creating the PDF file. This ensures that the project will be published at its latest stage. All last-minute changes will also be incorporated into the published set. After publishing is finished, Click the Close button in the Publishing dialog. Browse your computer and double-click to open the PDF document using Adobe's Free Reader or any other PDF viewer application. The PDF documentation opens. Switch to the bookmark links and notice that ARCHICAD has reproduced the same folder structure of the publisher set and created all layouts with the corresponding settings and size to the PDF. We demonstrated how to save DWG files from ARCHICAD in previous chapters. In this step, we will show you how to publish the entire construction documentation as a DWG file with one click of the mouse. Switch to the Publisher Sets in the Organizer palette. Select the 06 CD PDF set and duplicate it in the manner we used earlier. Rename the new set to 07CDDWG set. Open this set and select the main folder at the top. Choose the DWG file format now in the format panel. Check mark the Merge to One DWG file checkbox to publish all the layout sheets into one single DWG file. Like the PDF, if you would like to publish multiple layouts into one file, select the containing folder or subfolder of the layouts and checkmark this option. Notice that the icon of the folder is highlighted. You can select any default DWG DXF translator, but you can also define custom translator settings for the published file by clicking the Options button. Once you are ready with all the settings, click the Publish button to start the publishing process. Please remember that it's only necessary to define the publisher set and publishing options once. The next time you won't need to worry about the settings. All you have to do is click the Publish button and ARCHICAD will generate an up-to-date, professional documentation set. Now that the design documentation has been published, Let's have a quick overview of some possibilities of archiving the design project. The most convenient way of archiving the project is to save a project archive PLA file from ARCHICAD. This PLA will include all the library parts that were used, textures, and even the inserted external files. All you need to do is activate the file Save As command and then select the ARCHICAD Archive Project PLA options from the list. Click the Options button. Check mark all the checkboxes except the second checkbox. Checking the second checkbox 
would result in ARCHICAD including not only the actively used library parts, but all the library parts from all the loaded libraries as well. This would significantly increase the size of the PLA file. And click OK in the dialog. Click the New Folder button and enter PLA Archive for the name of the folder and click Create to proceed. Click Save to save the PLA file to the newly created folder on your computer. If the project resumes in the future, you can open the PLA file in ARCHICAD and continue the project development. If it's likely the project will resume in the future, it's recommended to archive all corresponding work files using the same folder structure and libraries. This means you should create an archive folder package and save the ARCHICAD project file in PLN format, store the project specific library and the current ARCHICAD library separately. You should also collect all linked external content and all published files, DWG, PDF, PLT, and put them in the archive package. This concludes Chapter 10 as well as the ARCHICAD Collaboration Interactive Training Guide. Thank you for taking the time to complete this interactive training guide. We hope that you found this guide useful and can share the experience of thousands of architects worldwide. ARCHICAD is easy to learn and fun to use.